So, is the haven worth it? Let's find out. And Lisa looks very happy here, by the way. A nice little perk about staying in the Haven is that you get priority boarding and you also get taken to your room like right after you get your keys and everything. It used to be that they take you straight to your room but now they take you to the master station so in case of like an emergency that's where you meet up with like the rest of other people in your section. And obviously this is my first check-in process but I thought it went pretty smooth. They escorted us to the room and I really felt like royalty as soon as we like <laughs> boarded like it was a great experience i have to say okay, so we actually haven't filmed much today this is our second day here at sea and i just actually wanted to show you what was brought to us while we were in the haven we were brought snacks every day so um they brought some chips by we have like a fruit platter there's um like little snacks and then also some cheeses and then we also got some other fruit so that's really nice and one thing that you notice as well um i got my nails done on board and i will actually include a short video of what it was like and i'll talk about that too so I wanted to go ahead and include a quick clip of me actually at the spa here and while this is not exclusive to the Haven, this is actually open to all guests. Because this is an extreme luxury service, I wanted to go ahead and include it. It was very, very expensive. It was like $220 including tip and honestly I only got like a mani and pedi because I really needed them done and I didn't have the time to do it prior to getting on the ship. And while it was a great experience and I was happy to do it because it was uh, such a great feeling, I will never ever do it again. It's way too much money. <laughs> hey guys, so it's still the second C day. Today is Tuesday and tomorrow. No, this is the third day we've been at Yeah, sea. but it's the second C day technically. Okay. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow we'll be arriving at the beautiful Puerto Vallarta and check out the sunset. Ooh, how romantic, right, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Very, very, very. Mm -hmm. yeah, right now, go to dinner at the Haven restaurant with my parents and we will show you some footage of that too. Ooh. And we're on our patio, by the way. Uh, she calls it patio, I call it balcony. Too. Yeah. And then, I guess our next door neighbor's not here. <laughs> We'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Here we have the Haven restaurant, very exclusive to the Haven guests only. And as you can see, it's actually pretty big and it serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you want, you can basically eat all your meals here and just never go out. Yeah, so you see there's also outdoor seating for the Haven restaurant. So it was uh, not too cold, not too hot, not too windy. You can actually eat out here. Sorry. Almost. <laughs> so one thing to actually note about the Haven restaurant is that it is a set menu. So there's a set breakfast, lunch, as well as dinner menu. What I'm actually filming is the dinner menu and I would say that we really ate dinner here almost every day with the exception of like a few specialty restaurants in between and we also ate breakfast here a lot as well which I really really enjoyed and of course because this is part of the haven everything is free 99. <laughs> For breakfast every day I got steak and eggs as I know this isn't something that I get at home so I just wanted to super enjoy on the ship. My favorite thing to get for breakfast was the omelets as well as the waffles. Here we have the seafood fricto mixto. It was fried seafood and it was delicious. 
and here we have the angel hair shrimp scampi and it was also very good we actually didn't eat lunch at the haven restaurant very much as i prefer the buffet during lunch so in the following clips you'll actually see some more food that we were able to eat at the haven and again with this being my first cruise this was just a really nice and pleasant experience just being able to eat like this and being catered to that's something i'm not really used to at this time just like the service and the level of luxury in this restaurant was really really nice and it was something i really enjoyed experiencing every day and you know staying in the haven you really get the opportunity to try out the entire menu and it was ex exactly the same for the desserts so it was a set menu for those as well this is like the so we're still on deck 18 and it's basically the lounging area and check this out so this is also what's nice about the haven get we get our own private pool get your own little jacuzzi that's why that guy's there right now he's waiting for jacuzzi by the way I don't know. <laughs> and you also have, to have like a little sunroof and basically they will open it once it gets hot so we, we're gonna show you guys and then you have all the different state rooms so deck 18 we're on deck 18 now and then also deck 17 so <clears throat> the lounging area in the haven like i said you have your own bar and then we have the courtyard Woo! all right Lisa wants to go to the courtyard. <clears throat> yep, so here we're on deck 17. Yep, so we have the lounging area with all the towels. So basically just chill here. Lisa's chilling. Yeah, she is. Yeah, check it out. A nice little waterfall thingy. Yeah. Very nice. Hi, morning. <clears throat> then six deck seventeen. One well, deck seventeen now. Eighteen. <clears throat> and <clears throat> as you guys saw, when you keep going straight, then you get to the observation deck or the observation area. They call it the Horizon Lounge. They technically do have one on deck 16 as it's in the back of the garden cafe, the buffet area. But then, you know, as we have mentioned, this is more exclusive. And, you know, you don't see a lot of people here ever. Like, I check it out. This was my favorite part of the ship to hang out in, actually. What I liked most about this part of the ship is that it was extremely relaxing and soothing and it had plenty of seating so oftentimes after like a lunch or a dinner I would just come here with Kevin, we would sit, we would talk and we would actually just look out at the ocean like you get a panoramic view of it and it's just really gorgeous and peaceful. This lounge was also never really crowded, which was definitely nice given we're still social distancing because of COVID. So Lisa's going, woo, because we got <laughs> some hot chocolate, you got some honey, you got some sugar. And we have a coffee machine too in the Haven, in the observation deck on deck 18. Show her looks over there. Yeah, so check it out. We were lounging over there just now, just being lazy. We also were doing our video there just now as well. Yeah, it is, this is a very chill area and this is also new to the Norwegian Bliss as well because on the escape they didn't have this. So they took out all the owner suites and then they put in this wonderful marvelous observation deck. See, you got some... Is that, are those pumpkins? Are those, those are pumpkin seeds. You got some chocolate chips, pistachio, popcorn, marshmallow, and peanut butter, no that's peanut M&M's and gummy bears, got some dessert, got this huge huge peanut butter cookie <laughs> and then two, two, is that tomato mozzarella? I guess it is. Lisa, what did you get Lisa? I got uh, the carrot cake lollipops, 
so I'm really excited oh, to try it. But it's all you, I'm not eating I, that. I had the red velvet ones yesterday and it was good. All right. Let's see, let's yeah, see let's so check the out the observation deck. Area. Yeah, so we're on deck 19 now. No. no, no, this is still deck 18. Yeah. And basically, it goes down to the observation deck. Isn't this nice? Yes, it is. So that has been the tour of the Haven. So after all of that, do you think the Haven is worth it? I personally think it's worth it. Oh, the Haven is always worth it to me. Just the restaurant, the exclusivity, and then now the Horizon Lounge. And the, just the whole vibe and ambiance. So join us on our next video as we actually tour the rest of the ship. Woo, this let's go! This goofy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>